joined now by Justin Gonzalez. Over to you for questions. Jay? Hey, thanks very much. And Justin, welcome back. Uh, obviously, you got a key fight here with Andrew Fisher, a chance to work up the rankings a little more. First of all, just how do you see this fight playing out? Just talk to us about the matchup a bit. Shoot. Uh, Andrew's tough, man. He's going to push forward. I'm going to push forward. He's going to come and bang. I'm going to come and bang. So she'll be looking forward to a good fight. But uh, I think I'm too much for him. I think I'm too fast for him. I'm going to piece him up a little bit, take him down a little bit. And at the end of the fight, J Train's getting his hand raised. Well, looking forward to this one. I mean, you are fighting here for the third time inside of 12 months. Just how important is it to you as an athlete and as a fighter to keep active and consistent like that? It's really important, man. You know, some people don't believe in ring rust, but I feel like you step away from anything for too long. You're going to come back a little different. So uh, my goal, three times in a year, every year, keep the ball rolling, put some money in my pocket, work up these rankings, stay relevant. It's the name of the game. Kobe. Hey, Jay Train, Kobe from the Pro Sports Podcasters. How's it going, buddy? It's going well, my man. It's going well. Thanks for having me. Always, buddy. Always. So, yeah, you keep up a very, very busy schedule. How are you keeping yourself injury-free during the training? <laughs> you know, it doesn't always go so perfect. Um, I'm always facing little little dings here and there. But, you know, just over the past couple of years, I've really been focusing on my recovery, taking that extra time after practice to stretch getting in for my massages, getting in for my chiropractic. And ultimately, man, you give yourself enough rest, work on all those things, kind of uh, does more for your body than people realize. And it was probably great for you to bounce back quickly, coming off a loss, getting that next win. Has anything changed whatsoever in your preparation since then? Not so much, you know. Um, you know, yeah, we took our first L, but I don't think we're too far off, you know. Um, we're still working hard, still training with the same coaches, same guys, um, loyal to these guys, they have my back. So we, uh, just kind of talked about a couple things, focused on a little different things and, uh, Hey man, we're always growing in this game. So not too much has changed. Just uh, a couple small differences in our camps. Mike. Hey, it's Mike from ASAP sports. Um, you're the eighth ranked featherweight right now, and your only loss is to a top five fighter. Without overlooking your opponent on Saturday with a win, what's next for J Train? Shoot, uh, I never overlook him, man. I got to handle business. So, Andrew Fisher, right now, this is the fish to fry. So, once I get through him, hey, man, we'll see what's up. This is the last fight on my contract. So, obviously, we're going to have to talk money, talk uh, fights, and just kind of work everything out. But after this, I plan on jumping back in the ranking system and uh, taking over the world. That's all for me. Thanks. Santiago. Hi, J Train. Thank you for the time. This, this will be your third fight inside the Bellator MMA promotion. H how have you experienced your time here thus far? Is the company taking good care of you? Hey, Bellator is taking well, very good care of me, man. I can't complain. They make my life pretty easy. Give me some cool opportunities to see the world and also show the world what's up. So thanks, guys. You fought against Aaron Pico, and despite the result, your stock went even up higher. Did you get that feeling as well? Can you repeat that one more time? Yeah, you fought against Aaron Pico, and despite the result, your stock went even up higher. Did you get that feeling as well? Um, You know, no, man. I took that loss very personal, man. I didn't join this game to lose. Um, sometimes it's going to happen, but I just don't like that shit, man. I'm here to win. I'm here to be a champion. And, uh, you know, that shit hurt. I took it very personal, like I said. You know, I always come out to bang. I always put on a good performance. So every fight of my stock should rise. Um, but even after the loss, man, didn't, wasn't, uh, wasn't anything. I wasn't happy about it. So not the same feeling. Jay, back to you. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't have the mute button. Uh, you know, 
There's been a lot of movement in uh, the featherweight division. Pitbull's back as the belt defended against Borix. AJ's up at lightweight. Do you feel like this is kind of the uh, perfect opportunity right now to make a statement in the division? Hey, there's no better time than now. Every time I step in that cage, it's an opportunity for me to make a statement, man. Like I said before, everyone in the ranking system's on my hit list. So whenever I do get that belt, I want there to be no excuses, no doubts that I'm the undisputed champion of the world. Love it. Best of luck. Thank you. Patrick. Hey, Justin. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great, brother. How are you doing? Doing well. Now, obviously, this is your fourth outing here in Bellator. Is this feeling like just a home for you now? Is, is Bellator where you want to stay for the rest of your career? What's the plan? Hey, man, I'm very happy here. These guys take very good care of me. I'm very happy with everything. Our relationship's getting better. And hey, this is another day, just another day in the office. So, um, yeah, man, I don't have any plans on leaving, but I'm also going to say this very clear. Money talks, man. I'm uh, trying to retire early. I'm trying to take care of some people. So, you know what? Uh, at the end of the day, I need to get paid. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Saturday night. I'll be there in person. Good luck. Thanks, brother. Come and grab me after the fight. Thanks very much, Justin. Hey, no problem, guys. Thanks for having me.